All right, welcome to another podcasting tutorial. I'm your personal podcast coach from the school of podcasting.com. My name is Dave Jackson. Today we're going to start talking about controlling your RSS feed. This is very important information, kind of confusing, so that's why I've made this tutorial. Let me give you a little history lesson. Back in the day, in fact, to this day, I recommend that people use WordPress to generate your website and to use that to manage your podcast because it automatically generates an RSS feed. We want that RSS feed to go into iTunes and we want that to, to be able to submit it. And to do that, we have to add something special. Just a standard WordPress RSS feed won't work. We have to add these things called iTunes tags. And so back in, say, 2005, most of us used a service called FeedBurner. Absolutely nothing wrong with FeedBurner. It's owned by Google. But I want to point out that whoever you use to add your iTunes tags, you have to trust immensely because what's going to happen is iTunes doesn't look at your website. It looks at whoever you are using to provide your iTunes tags. So in this case, it would be FeedBurner. So whoever you put there, you have to trust. And so you're going to be married to that person. To that service, I guess, would be a better way of saying it. Because, again, your WordPress feed is going to go into that third-party system. They're going to add your iTunes tags, and iTunes will be looking at that third-party system. So what happens? You create a blog post, update your RSS feed, goes to that third-party service. They add the iTunes tags. iTunes continually looks at that third-party service, be it FeedBurner or any other company. Now, that's what I'm here to talk about. What happens if that third-party service, what, if there's a problem? Well, you need some sort of prenuptial agreement so that you can say, hey, iTunes, I know you used to look at my other third-party service here for iTunes tags. I don't like them anymore. I want you to look over here. You need to have a way to tell iTunes, don't look over there anymore. Look over here here. And so let me show you how that is and, and why I recommend a couple different services for this. One is FeedBurner. Very easy to update. I'll show you this in a second. Second one is the Blueberry PowerPress plugin for WordPress. Now the great thing about this, this is my favorite way, is FeedBurner is a, is a third party. You have WordPress and you have FeedBurner. When you use the Blueberry PowerPress plugin, it is an extension of WordPress. When you update WordPress, the PowerPress plugin is instantly updated. With FeedBurner, it has its own schedule when it comes around to look at your website again. So you can actually update your website and not have it updated in iTunes for quite some time. In fact, I've had times where FeedBurner has just stalled and it's been days and people go, where's your latest podcast? And I go, it's on my website. Well, because FeedBurner never updated, iTunes never updated. Because again, iTunes is looking at whoever you're using for your iTunes tags. With Blueberry, with their PowerPlus plugin, when you update your website, it's an extension of your website and happens instantly. Now, if you're not using WordPress, some people start off using Libsyn at libsyn.com. Both Blueberry and Libsyn are great podcast hosting solutions, and both provide a blog option, but many people start off using Libsyn as a blog engine in addition to their media hosting. Well, here again, both the Blueberry PowerPress and FeedBurner and the Libsyn blog allow you what I'm calling jokingly here, a prenuptial agreement, a way to get out of having iTunes look at them. Let me show you what I mean by that. Here I am in my Libsyn account, and under Destinations and Libsyn Classic Feed at the bottom, under the Advanced Options, redirect this feed to this feed. So if for some reason I wanted to move from Libsyn, I could say, I'm not at Libsyn anymore, iTunes, go look over here. In FeedBurner, you could go to Edit Feeds and say, OK, FeedBurner, don't look at this particular feed, look at this new feed. Maybe I move to a new media host or a new website host. Under PowerPress, under the iTunes tags, there's a setting right here. Set iTunes new feed URL. Again, it's a way to say iTunes, don't look at me anymore. Look at this new system I'm using to provide my iTunes tags. So what happens is there are some companies such as, and most of these are free, blogtalkradio.com, talkshoe.com, podomatic.com, and podbean.com. 
all of these companies will, quote, do you a favor and submit your feed to iTunes. And what they don't realize or what you may not realize if you're new to podcasting is, again, you are now married to these companies because iTunes is looking at these services and there is no way to tell iTunes, I've quit using Blog Talk Radio, I've quit using TalkShoe, I've quit using Podomatic, I've quit using Podbean, look over here. You are married to them. And the only way to get around this is to basically start a brand new feed in iTunes, which will then be a duplicate of what you previously had. You'd have to tell all your previous subscribers you need to resubscribe. It's a mess. If you must use one of these free services, I beg you, do not let them submit your feed to iTunes. You do it by submitting your feed to FeedBurner first and then submit that to iTunes. So again, you have a way to redirect your feed. Again, my favorite ways, host your podcast on your own website. You can go to schoolofpodcasting.com forward slash hosting and get hosting for as little as $7 a month. Use your WordPress install. And I use the Blueberry PowerPress plugin. To me, it's faster than FeedBurner. It's an extension of WordPress, and I love it. Now, both Blueberry, again, and Libsyn are great media hosts as well. Those are podcasting companies started by podcasters. So, again, you need to control your feed so you don't end up with an iTunes feed that you can't update in the event you want to change providers. Thanks for listening. I'm Dave Jackson, your personal podcast coach from the theschoolofpodcasting.com.